everybody, this is Tara from Tara's Truths. Today is Monday, May 31st, and I would like to do the weekly reading for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine and their connection. And this is for the week of May 30th through June 5th. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, we had Mercury retrograde um, happen on Saturday. So we are now in retrograde fully. So this is going to be a week of where we go back and kind of reassess things. So all the re's, reassess, reaffirm, uh, repeat, um, reestablish, rest, <laughs> recuperate all that kind of stuff so um anyway i wanted to uh work with animals i was feeling called to work with animals this week i'm actually pet sitting for a friend i have a dog with me who's staying with me at my house uh, one of my friend's dogs and i love this dog and he's great and if you go up on my tiktok i put a short little video of uh, day with me and russell so it was great um, so that's why you're going to see some dog energy. I have some dog and cat energy going today. Um, but I'm going to do the same kind of thing that I did before yesterday, uh, yesterday, last week with the reading where I felt called to do what's above and below. Um, kind of doing it a little differently this week. Uh, but I'm going to start off with the connection, the energy of the divine connection. And that's what we're going to start with here. So quick thing, uh, feminines, I will say she and her. For the masculines, I will say he and him. It's just how the energy resonates, but you don't necessarily have to identify yourself as a female person to have the feminine energy. We have both of them within us. We have the yin and the yang, the balance. We have the divine masculine, divine feminine. This is basically for those of you who are on a romantic connection journey, and where one person will hold the more of the divine feminine energy and the other person will hold the divine masculine energy. So you can take this however it resonates with you. It can apply to heterosexual couples, homosexual couples, whatever. So take the messages as they resonate, if they resonate, and then we'll just go from there. All right. So like I said, I... I I started off with, I think this is called the Divine Dogs Wisdom Oracle. So, and I will post them in the description box below the decks I'm using. So, like I said, I wanted the, the dogs to start us off, the dogs to lead us. And they did. So, this is the energy surrounding the connection. So, look at this. This is beautiful. This is balance. Okay. Steady as she goes. So, yeah, so right now the connection is in this really beautiful space of having balance and reminding you to keep the faith. You have all you need right now. So this is a reminder, people. <laughs> I almost said feminines, but I changed it to people to remind you that even if you're not in the 3D, if you're not in connection with your divine counterpart, you are in connection with your divine counterpart. This is an energy that goes between the two of you that you can't get rid of. No matter how hard you try, no matter what you do in life, the connection is always there. And it's there to help raise your vibration. It's meant to help you be the best possible version of yourself you can possibly be and vice versa. And that's what these divine counterparts are meant to do. They're meant to help us feel that unconditional love, that complete acceptance and find that balance within ourselves. It's supposed to create the balance within the self. So this way you can come into realignment. There's the re realignment with yourself. So you can become realigned with your divine counterpart. And that's what happens if you are in disconnect. So we're going to move forward with what the tarot tells us. So we have the Knight of Wands, the Temperance, and the Four of Wands. So this is amazing. This, I, I can't, you can't make this shit up. So even right here, the Temperance is about balancing. So these two just go right together. So this is about working that fire energy, that, that beautiful, creative energy 
energetic um, sexual energy of of creativity okay so that's what this is this knight of wands she is really coming in to her own okay like really um i'm sorry i have my ear on the talk um he she i say she because it's a she uh she's really owning her creativity is what i'm saying like you have the idea, you know what you want, and now you're putting it forth. So the energy of the connection is really taking off and it's starting to come into balance. And this is the 1111. This is the Twin Flame Divine Counterpart card, the, the 1111. But it's also about marriage. It's also about um, celebration. It's about uh, just... I don't, just really connecting, you know, that fire energy. So that's what this is. So what's going on with the connection this week? It's really in a beautiful space of balance and creativity and sexuality. So I'm also getting a message for those of you um, who may be in connection with your divine counterpart um, to open up to that sexual energy, that creative energy. If you are not in connection with your divine counterpart, like if you are in like a sort of separation where they are not with you uh, in the physical, tap into that energy and create something for yourself. Create balance within yourself. Create the faith, okay? When you come into balance with yourself, it's almost like you're able to maintain your faith. Put your faith within this connection. Mm, beautiful. That temperance is so beautiful. I also feel that this is divinely guided. And, and you already know all of this. I'm kind of just repeating myself. So I'm going to move forward. So what I did, this is a, a different deck that I've, I don't know if I've ever used on here before, but this is the um, Cat Tarot deck. And this is like a little handmade deck that I got uh, on, on Etsy uh, a long time ago. And it's really cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle it and then I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to say what's above you, what's below you. And then I'm going to cut it in the middle and say what's at the heart of the matter. So this is for the divine connection. Okay. So let's see, give us some guidance, kitties, <laughs> about the divine connection. And however it's going to come out, I'm only going to read it upright. I'm not going to read it up, uh, in reverse. So let's see, where am I for the divine connection? So the energy surrounding the connection. One more time, they say. Okay, so what's above you? What might be going on above you? Oh. This is below. And those two fell out. So we're going to stick with that. And here's, they literally fell down. Okay, what's above you? So what's above you right now is the six of pentacles. Again, about balance. So this, again, look. So what is above you? What's going on? What is, is helping to create this space? What is, should be, you should be holding high up? What is your guidance? staying in balance keeping this this is beautiful i love this and i have chills to to um i have the concept so let me just get it out the universe is saying this connection is coming back into balance okay this connection should be in balance and it's saying what is above you is it's trying to help you create balance on this plane this is the balance on earth pentacles is earth it's an inflow and an outflow of, of energy, of value, of worth, um, of perhaps even money. This could literally be money. That is what is coming in is also going out. That you have enough in yourself. You have enough self-worth to hold on to. So you have enough to give out. You're not, you're not taking away from yourself. You're not taking away from your connection and giving elsewhere. That this is all about balance. That And I... I love this. So it is It is reminding you that as above, so below. And I, it, this is even as above, okay? As above, as above. <laughs> so this is all about 
holding strong that value of staying in balance within yourself, within your, and it will happen within your connection. Wow. And like I said, pentacles is the earth energy. So that is what's manifesting here. That's what's being manifested here. Okay, so if you had any doubt about who your person is, don't because this is kind of confirmation. All right, this is what's below you. And like I said, for some reason, they, they both fell out. So what's below you? The Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. Very cool. So it's saying, oh God, I love this. So what's below you? What is happening way down under? What is supporting you? What's supporting you is that you did this work. You went inside. You went within. You internalized. You put the work in, okay, to find out what you want for yourself, what you want out of this connection. The work has been done. The work is still even happening. Perhaps this is even still going on. This is what's supporting it. What's supporting your connection is that you're each strong in what you value. You're each, you each have or are realizing what you want for yourself and that the work you're willing to do, you're willing to put in the work to do it. And you know you're willing to put in the work when you just kind of realize that you're just doing it. You don't even realize you're doing it. it. It shouldn't be too much of an effort. It just, it's kind of effortless with these connections. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I want to know what's at the heart of the matter. Okay, so the heart of the connection. So I'm going to split the deck. I want it, no, I want it here. Okay, and I'm going to take this card and then the card underneath here. Okay. And that's it. So the heart of the connection. Oh, the King of Pentacles. Again, look, if I have the Queen, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, I'm not. Nine of Wands. Okay. So the heart of the matter. So the King of Pentacles. So this is the Earth King. This is about making an offer, standing strong, really going through um, being a, a, a very strong and powerful forced to be reckoned with, but having that grounding ability, being able to ground yourself on this plane, okay? So this is saying that the connection is being grounded. Even if you don't see it, it's here. And the Nine of Wands is telling me also that there's a part of you that may be guarded, okay? So you may be standing guard of like making sure you keep your boundaries up in a way, which boundaries. All right. Here's the thing with, with well, how am I going to put this? Boundaries are good when we're not safe. Okay. They help keep us safe. So in other words, like a boundary is you're not going to go in the water and take in a deep breath. Because you're not a fish, so it will kill you. So um, you're not going to go do that, okay? So you're going to have a boundary of that, all right? That's not going to do that because that is going to hurt me and I need to keep myself safe. But make sure it's something like that. Like it really truly is something that will truly hurt you that you can't recover from. If it's something where your boundary can be pushed, because these types of connections are built to help us remove our barriers, to break down all those walls. Remember, I kept saying how feminines were in that um, tower moment. That's what that was. That was taking down all those barriers that the feminines, that we feminines put up for so many years. And that was leveling all that shit the hell out of there. And... It's saying it's okay to have, to keep yourself safe, but don't keep yourself so safe where you are self-sabotaging, okay? So learn the difference, and that's what this hermit energy is about. This is what this meditation is. Learning what you want for yourself, putting the work in, the effort in, and making sure that you 
know how to work within this kind of connection for yourself and paying attention what else am i getting here the heart of the matter i'm also getting that the the masculine may be a little bit on guard the masculine energy of the connection may be a little bit on guard still he feels this but there's a little bit of guarding here and that's okay because sometimes you have to step back in order to maintain your balance you can't have somebody else throwing more stuff at you if you're trying to juggle you can't have somebody just throw something in at you unexpectedly you have to keep that balance going a lot of pentacles a lot of that that's all it is it's pentacles and, and it's earth and fire that's it and here's another thing i'm gonna say the earth fire grows on the earth just think about that for a second you have the air that moves all around you have the rain that falls down but where's fire fire is always grounded it's always on the earth it's fanned by air but it it spreads, it grows on the earth. Fire is the only element that cannot be contaminated. You can pollute air, you can pollute earth, you can pollute water, you cannot pollute fire. Fire is the ultimate cleaner. It tears down everything. It tears, which interesting because the nine of wands is, is what fire energy is what will tear all that down. I'm loving this. What a great reading for the, for the, um, for the connection. I want some mermaid energy. Let's get some mermaid advice. I have two here. Let's see. Mystery. All right and the future wow so the future is a mystery you know and that, i think that's what it is i mean a lot of times i think we get so hyper focused on you know where are we what's going on in our connection you know i'm not really talking to the masculine you know the feminine is ghosting me and you know whatever so let it be a mystery the future is a mystery let it be. Just leave it alone. It's working. Whatever it is, if you allow the mystery to be and let things unfold naturally, that's when you're able to maintain the balance. The balance of the connection, the balance of the individual person, and the balance of the union. The balance of the energy. Because that's when you're able to, if you give it the space it needs, that's when you're able to see how it behaves, if that makes sense. That's really beautiful. I'm loving this. Let's get some trees here. Let's get some trees. What does the trees want to say? I like trees. There's a lot of energy. Uh, passion. Look, see? A lot of, like I said, earth. Let's see passion let's see live from your heart and energy this is beautiful this is beautiful so this is almost like the heart chakra so love live from your heart and energy passion this is all that this is this is about creating this passion on earth living from your heart creating your your the energy the love energy raising this vibration to this love vibration and just being in the now is kind of like what I'm getting, like just, just enjoying it. This is a really strong connection this week. You guys are really connected. And I think if you maintain the balance, the other person will be able to maintain balance. And I believe that the connection will maintain this balance or the, ba the, ma the connection is helping you each make, maintain your balance is what I'm getting as well. So I wanna do this, yeah. Let's see, this is find your light. Because I also got like fairies too. I will heal. This is all for your healing. 
This is to help you heal. This is to help the other person heal. This is to help the planet heal. This is to help the universe heal. Beautiful. And it's two, two collaborating. Look at this. That's gorgeous. I love this. Wow. Wow. All right. I, I, I love it. I'm moving forward. This is great. What a great way to start off this reading. Wow. That's, that's pretty freaking fantastic. All right. So I'm going to continue with that. Let's go to the masculines. What do we got for the divine masculines for the week of, oh, let's start off with the dog. Sorry. Start off with the dog. All right, so this is for our Divine Masculine Energy. For the week of the 30th through the 5th of June, what do you want to tell the masculine? It's, uh, allowing, let it happen. And Joker, things are never as they seem. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. So masculines, you're in this allowing stage of letting, just letting things happen, which is also helping keep the balance. And Joker, things are never as they seem. So I think masculines, you may be learning that things are never as they are seem. So that's why you're allowing things to happen because then you can kind of take a step back and see what's actually going on. The high priest which is the higher fence. Let's see what else. Ooh. And I got four. Let's see what we have here. Oh my God. All right. Oh, look, we got the hermit. So we have the high priest, which is the higher fit. We have the hermit. We have the king of wands and we have the nine of swords. All right masculines here what do we got going on so i just want to put all this together so you guys can see it okay i just heard time key with this That's odd. Well, maybe because there's a clock on it. I think that's a clock. I don't even know. To me, it looks like a clock. Almost like you're spending your time to go within, okay, and really figure out how you want to expel your energy because you're tired of getting so overworked and like, like I, I feel like that there's just like a lot going on here with the masculines like that. There has been so much energy that came on them. So much like overthinking, like an anxiety thing, but it's, it's beyond the point of like getting out of, so to speak like that. This is almost like you've been sucked dry of all your energy like that. Everything you've ever felt is, or you, this may even be a fear this could be a situation that you're going through masculines. This could be something that you're coming out of. But I'm feeling like that in order to get yourself out of this situation, you are going within and making sure that you spend your and expel your energy the way you want to. Like you no longer want to be in this nine of swords energy. And you're no longer allowing somebody to do it to you anymore. And this could even be what's this, this things are never as they seem. You may even perceive this person to be like this or this situation to be like this. And it may not be. And it's saying, if you keep viewing this situation like this, this may even have to do with a marriage. Um, if you keep putting in this energy in this way, this could be, maybe there's uh there could be a, is with this next to it it could even be like the, an ending of a marriage is what i'm getting as well like you know now you're a solo act um and being wise of where you're putting your energy so it's almost like step back and allow it because perhaps 
this, you're being fooled. Like this situation isn't exactly what it seems to be. So maybe some of you are going through some sort of separation and maybe perhaps you're viewing your partner or your ex-partner, your soon-to-be ex-partner, it could even be your divine counterpart, to be a specific way, but it's really sucking all your energy out of you because it may not really be that way, okay? Things are never as they seem. That's why I keep going to this. Or you could be in a situation where there is somebody who is divorcing and you are alone and you're you're kind of going through it and you're expelling your energy and, you know, you think that there's a situation going on with this other person and things are not as they seem. Just kind of like take a step. I'm getting like take a step back and allow things to happen. And I really think that that's what you're doing. You're kind of like taking a bird's eye approach, taking a bird's eye view. But I do feel like that this is cautioning you like that. This is a caution for you not to get stuck in this energy. Don't allow yourself to be an energy vampire. Don't let something suck all the energy out of you. All your, And don't allow yourself to become the energy vampire. Okay, that's why like this, things are never as they seem. Like hold on to your energy. That's why I'm saying this. Like know where to put it. Don't put your energy into overthinking things. Don't put your energy into thinking uh, automatically going to the negative, like, oh, this bitch did that, or, oh, I can't believe this person's doing that, or, you know, this situation over here is happening like this. This could be about a job. This could be an ending of a job, ending of a career. Um, but I want to say marriage because it's the higher fit. You're learning something. It could also be like an, an education. So, Maybe perhaps you're going within and learning where to focus your energy so you don't get stuck in this. Maybe this is what this allowing is. And you, you're you starting to realize that things are never as they seem. This might be something that you've come to discover more recently. So there's a couple of ways that this is playing out. And this really jumped up. Inspiration. believe and intention all right so it's like what's inspiring you is like you're starting to whatever is inspiring you you're starting um to believe like almost like something new is coming in is what i'm getting like you're starting to believe something like because you've been allowing things to just happen and you realize things are not as they seem you're starting to believe something and you're I feel like your intention now is more like razor like like it's more focused like you you you're setting your sight on something that you want like you know your intention now you you're starting to see what the intention of yourself and what the intentions of others are and there may be something that is um may seem like it's on the up and up okay it may seem like that this is energy that you want to expel but in reality it's just really actually sucking you that you may not realize what the true intention is like almost like something is being hidden but you're learning this i really feel like that this is a learning process and masculines this is a really nice place for you to be hmm all right, so I'm going to go ahead with that, with the heart of the matter and everything. So let's, so let me just, for the masculines, for the divine masculines for this week, where do you want me to stop so I can find out what's above, below, and the heart of the matter? Masculines for the week of the 30th, May 30th through June 5th. Where are we? Masculines. One more, they're telling me. Stop. Okay. So what's above, what's below, and what's at the heart of the matter? They're telling me to pick these two. And I'm also going to take this one. Okay. Okay. So what's above you? 
Six of Wands. So victory. So like I said earlier, you're coming out on top that you're figuring whatever is going on, that this is for you to be successful. You're going to be successful in learning whatever it is that you need to learn. You're being guided and you're being divinely guided because they're, they're leading you into what you, whatever is going to work out for you for the best. And the Knight of Swords. All right. So all of these, these thoughts that are kind of plaguing you, it's almost like you're the one creating the masculines. These thoughts are yours. So this is what I'm getting. These thoughts coming in are yours. And I really think that um, by going into this hermit mode is you're going to figure out what it is. So this way you can expel your energy in a more, more productive manner. We have the Four of Cups. The Page of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. This is nice. What's at the heart of the matter? So this is you kind of were at a place where you weren't really seeing you weren't really seeing what was being offered to you. And I feel that now you're kind of getting an idea of that you're seeing what was actually at the heart of the matter. Like um, something like some emotion was there or somebody made an offer or there was, there was something coming at you, some emotion coming at you. Some, somebody was offering you of like a love and it was like, you, you didn't want to see it. You didn't want to know it. You couldn't deal with it for whatever reason. And it's like, now you're kind of like, Hmm, maybe that is real. Maybe that was a real thing. And now you might want to create that here. And I really think it was more of like an idea. And now it's like, it's something you want to bring into fruition. Like the idea is there to the spark of the idea of to create whatever, to create something new. And I feel like you're, you're looking to create something new is what I'm getting. So the heart of the matter is you want to move past what no longer serves. Okay. Emotions that no longer serve you or emotions that were coming at you, you're starting to see how valuable they actually are and how you can use them to create something for yourself on this plane. I hope this fucking makes sense. I really do. <laughs> because, yeah, it's a lot of information I'm getting. Oh. Masculines. Holy mackerel. All right, let's see. Hope. Yep. And let's get one more from the mermaids. Inner knowing. Like I said, that's what this hermit is. That's this inner knowing. So you definitely are holding this space of hope. And you already know, masculines. You already know. You already know what this is. This nine of swords, you know what it is. But just step into your power. You, you've already done it. You've. Wow. Hmm. Is there anything else that I'm. Is there anything else that I'm getting from this? Anything else for the masculines? anything else for the masculines yes I am captivating hmm so know your worth but I, I don't I don't feel like I need to say that I'm here in capturing you're capturing what you want you're you're going out you're being masculine that's it you're just doing it so what this week has in store for you is to just make sure that you don't get stuck in this energy but knowing it's there 
what is that saying? Being forewarned is forearmed or forearmed is forewarned or whatever. Basically, if, if you know it's coming down the pike, you can deal with it is basically what I'm saying is what it's saying. Wow, masculines, that's a lot for you, but that's really beautiful. It's really nice energy that you have going on. You're really working through some stuff and you're really creating a lot of stuff. And you're really holding your own. All right. Let's see what we have for the feminines for this week. Where's my deck for the feminines? Oh, right here in front of me. Oh, dogs. I got to start with the dogs. Start with the dogs. That comes out again. It did say creativity, but... All right, so for the Divine Feminines, I wanted to get the held energy out. The Divine Feminines for the week of the 30th through June 5th, what do we have? Clarity. Let's get one more. Divine Feminines. And there's two. Well, that's interesting. So clarity right under your nose. <laughs> guidance help is on the way and endurance keep your eye on the ball wow so we got three for the the dogs that's pretty cool with the guidance so right away feminines this is saying i keep moving this out of the way i can move this down a little bit there we go okay so this is saying right now for this week you're gaining clarity okay you already are I really think that being in balance and being guided, like you're, you are being guided and it's helping to bring clarity to you so that this way you can continue moving forward. This will help you help give you the endurance that you need to move along through the energies of this week or to help move through the energies of this type of connection. All right. So let's see what we have for the feminines. I do want that one. Oh, nine of swords look at this you are mimicking your masculines oh god love it i'm gonna get one more because the masculines had four and there's two more all right right off the bat nine of swords got the star you got the magician you got the hanged man and you have or the hanged witch and you have the six of wands unbelievable I love this because look, you are mirroring your masculines, feminines. Let me see. Is all this fitting in? Yes, it is. Okay. So this nine of swords right here, overthinking, you know, being in this space of just, I don't know, this one, this card seems a little bit more hopeful to me because there's that dawn that's there. The masculines don't really have that in their depiction of the nine of swords, did they? It was almost like just... You're just really freaking stuck. You know, like, it's, look, it's the night. It's like there's no light coming through at all. I mean the moon. Ah, look at that. The feminines are coming through. <laughs> You're mirroring each other. Imagine that. All right. So, feminines, right now, get out of your, your head. Stop thinking all these things. Actually, because this is this is in the past thing, Feminines, you are coming out of this. You have gotten the clarity, okay? I think you got this last week, actually, and it was in the future. So maybe this is like um, some old stuff that's clearing out, that's going to clear out for the week. And maybe masculines, you're going to head into that. And it's okay because uh, it will just help moving the energy through, okay? Your feminines are going through it. So now you can rely on the strength of your feminines, masculines, I'm talking to the masculines. You can rely on your strength because um, this is like, that was like all the way over here for you. You can rely on your feminine strength because she's coming out of this energy. So she's tap into that energy of the balance because it will help you move through this energy because she's coming out of it this week, the beginning of this week, as you move into it towards the end of this week. This is, I guess, but it's coming through. So, um, feminines you are working through all of these head these places in your head here's your guidance your star your guidance you already know what you're being guided to do so 
uh, you're creating your own magic for sure, but it's going to take some time to be victorious. But you already know this. It's going to take time. This is this endurance card. That's what this is saying. And it's saying you are going to be victorious. So whatever you're creating this week, keep doing because look, this is major arcana right here, right here. You can't undo this. You, you got the star. This is a resounding yes card. This is saying, what do you want to create? It's asking you, what do you want to create? Be clear on what you want to create for you. And know that once you figure out what you want to do, sometimes it takes a little time to figure out what you want to do. But it also, give it the time and the space that you need to give it to let it grow. So that this way you're successful at it. This is beautiful energy for the feminines, actually. I'm really liking it. And don't over, don't overthink. Don't get into this sucking energy out of everything. This like energy vampire, like drama queen kind of thing is what I'm hearing. Like, you know, just like all these thoughts and you just get so stuck in them because we're, when you get stuck in all these, when you're hyper excited with all these thoughts, the energy of emotions follows with it. It tends to. This is what this anxiety is. To me, this is like the high anxiety card. Like, oh my God, what the hell do I do? Not even necessarily depression. There could be depression associated with this, but it's more of an anxiety for me. Just being so tied up in it. Like just so feeling so freaking stuck. But you're not. Because it's just a feeling. It's just a thought. It's just thoughts. Thoughts come and go. They're in and out, in and out, in and out. Meditate meditate it helps bring clarity and it doesn't get rid of thoughts meditating is people think that oh if i meditate it clears my mind no it doesn't it just helps you understand the quality of your thoughts it helps you understand what you're actually thinking and that this way if you just view it to be an observer and just allow yourself to think it and allow yourself to be human because you cannot control the mind you know, everybody, oh, you can control your thoughts. No, you really can't control your thoughts. You can control your actions based on your thoughts, okay? You can control if you're going to follow that thought and keep going down that road. But you cannot control the fact that you thought that thought. That's a misnomer. Don't be fooled by that. But yeah, so you are being divinely guided. And, and also the sky is clear is what I'm hearing. Like it's just clear skies guide. You're being guided. Just hang in there. And it's not even a hang in there. This is act activity. This is, I want to go for that ball. This isn't like, Oh, all right. I I'll just, you know, kind of just keep the status quo and just hang in there. No, this is like, yeah, I'm freaking going for it. I got my eye on the prize and I'm going for it. And you're going to be victorious. So whatever energy you're putting in this week, feminines, keep doing it. Keep doing it. All right. For the divine feminines. For this week. <clears throat> what do we have for the divine feminines for the week of the... This is for the above, below, and the heart of the matter. For the week of May 30th through June 5th. What do we have for the feminines? I'm hearing two more. That's what I heard. All right, they told me to stop. Okay. So above and below. And then let's get to the heart of the matter. And again, I'm hearing these two. Uh, and this one, this is the one I take. Okay. I say that I hear those two because like one fell and the other one fell on top of it. So it was like those two. All right. So let's see. What do we have? What's above you, feminines? Oh, the eight of wands. A lot of fast moving action. What did I say about this? This is action. This is going for it. You got your eye on the prize and you're freaking going. Running after that ball. That's what this is. This is that energy running after that ball and it's fire energy. This is creativity. You, whatever you are creating, 
whatever clarity you had and whatever you're being guided to do, whatever you're manifesting with this mag magician, um, action, it's coming in. It's coming in and it's above. So this hanged man might be what's going on right now here on this plane, but it's not what's going on above, above you. So what's going on above you, there's a lot of freaking fast moving shit that's like clearing shit out. Okay. It's also what I'm getting. Waiting for stuff to clear out. Nine of Pentacles. So this is, you know, like having all of these things that are <laughs> it's cute. Having all these things. That, so this is what's below you. So what's supporting you is, is the earth is supporting you. This space that you've created, that you have planted all these seeds, all these things are growing. You have this garden and this is all for your taking, for your pleasure. This is for you, feminines. So this is what you want to create for you. This isn't the 10 of pentacles yet. The fem, the, the, um, union hasn't you know it's not supporting you it's you're learning the clarity is you're learning that you support you on this plane you know your worth pentacles earth finances also value what you value in this world what you value about yourself this could also be about money you could be manifesting money maybe you're getting out of this old scarcity mindset that you're not worth anything and you're saying Frig this, I'm worth everything, I deserve it, I'm manifesting a really nice career for myself, or I'm manifesting not just my divine counterpart, but I'm getting the balance of mind, body, spirit, heart, everything. You're getting the balance of it all. You're getting money coming in. You're having your, your um, sexual energy and your financial energy mixing. And that is such a beautiful thing to have, feminines. This is what you're creating. This is where you're going to be victorious. This is what you're doing. And the masculines also in here with their balance was as above, so below. Their above card, I believe. Their above card was what? The Six of Pentacles, was it not? No, Six of Wands. The That was the connection. The connection is the six of pentacles. That is um, the influx of in and out. That, but that's the connection. So see, the influx of what's coming in is also going out. I think that was over here. Was that over here? Now I got to see. Six of pentacles, yeah. So that was the, the connection. So yeah, so that's, that's, that's that. I don't even remember why I even said that. See? So thoughts, they come and they go. <laughs> All right, what's at the heart of the matter? Eight of Swords. Oh. Oh, look. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. And the Moon. Oh, love this. All right. Here's the deal. All right, so what's at the heart of the matter for the feminines? You don't want to see. Okay? The heart of the matter is you're scared. You're worried. You are, I think this is a little bit of a fear-based thing. Like, it's like, uh, I don't want, I want to cover my eyes. Almost like what I'm getting, and I'm kind of getting this. You want to cover your eyes. What was that mystery? I'm getting moon with the mystery. Um, um, yeah, the mystery card over here. I'm getting that, you know, you want to cover your eyes because like when you go to a movie theater or you go to a horror movie and you're like, oh, is it over? And you're covering your eyes, but you're peeking through like, eh, can I look kind of thing? Is it safe to look? That's what I'm kind of getting with this card because it's almost like uh, the Ten of Cups. It's like right there. Can I peek? Is it is it here? Is it really in my path it's a mystery and I don't know how I feel about it and oh my god you know there's I'm cycling through so many emotions and with the moon with the cycles and you know going through all of the things of you know the full moon of abundance of to the to the new moon of it being in the dark and what do I do and you know things that will be revealed and you know but the heart heart of the matter is the ten of cups 
So yes, take the, uncover your eyes, take your tail away from your eyes, kitty, kitty, <laughs> fems, feminines, take your, stop covering your eyes. You have control. This is, this person is not blindfolded. They're blindfolding themselves. So they don't want to see it because they're afraid. Psh, screw that. What are you afraid to look at? Look what's in your reach. Look what's in your heart. This is what you can manifest. This is what you're looking to manifest for yourself. So it's just, it goes through cycles. It cycles around. And the moon is the feminine. So you even showed up for yourself. How beautiful is that? That's amazing. I'm loving this reading. This is great. Look, ask for help. Again, ask for help. Help is on the way. Guidance. Help is on the way. Ask for help. Friends, family, counselors, the divine, um, whoever. Your masculines. Ask your connection for help. Hello. I will heal. Passion. Live from your heart. Energy. All these cards. This is the twin flame here. This is the nine of wands. This is the knight of wands. Temperance. Balancing out. The king of pentacles is here. Balance. Okay. Faith. Have the faith. Mystery. The future. The future is here. This is it. This is what it's saying. You know, ask for help. Tap into that connection. Ask your masculine for help. Reach out to your masculine if you're in a, in a state where you can. Ask him for guidance. Ask him for help. If you can't do it in the physical, ask in a dream. Your masculine will come to you in a dream. Guarantee it. Beautiful. Waiting, again, with the, the hanged man. A lot of waiting, a lot of being patient. Wasn't there something over here with the masculines, with that um, allowing, letting it happen, and then joker, things may not be as it seems. But there was something else, like I, I want to see, like I want to, I feel like that there was some other kind of like waiting, not with just the hermit, but it's almost like just being patient. Showing patience, allowing things to just unfold in front of you and gaining clarity, gaining the knowledge. Love it. Love it. There's two. Mm, crown chakra. So you're getting information and detachment. That's interesting. Ugh, this is what you're detaching from. Okay. You are being guided through your crown chakra, okay? The information is coming down for you to let go of something, to detach, to let go, release, let flow. Get rid of what no longer serves. Get rid of the ideas, whatever ideas that that don't are no longer for your higher highest and greatest good. All right, there's two more. Create and honor yourself. Yep. Create what you want. And you, it, when you create what you want, you're going to honor yourself in the process. Wow. Beautiful. I'm loving that. And I really feel like that, that this detachment was what all those uh, tower energy, the tower energy was for the feminines. I really feel like that's what that was. And I think now in retrospect, you realize that's exactly what happened. And if it didn't happen, it will. It's, it's still happening for you. Everybody's on a timeline, different timeline. Um, when I create these videos, I intend it to be for this week, but it could, you might find it in like three months and it might resonate with you then. Because we do, we cycle through these things. Beautiful. Let's get some last little bit of energy of reading for divine feminines. What do you want to tell the divine feminines? I am treasured. So know you're treasured. But you already know that. You already know that. Sometimes you need a reminder. 
and you're wise and you're beautiful and you've transformed. Nice. And you're sturdy. You're hardy. You can endure. Wow. What an amazing reading. This was really a lot of fun. I'm glad I pulled these guys out. I want to get, I, I just want to do, how much time? Nah, I'm an hour in. <laughs> I just want to do one thing. I just want to pick one card for everybody across the board. Okay, so this is for feminines, masculines. So one card, because these are fun. Let's see. What does the cat want to tell us? I'm going to pick one cat and one dog. I'm get, picking the cat first. So what is, and then I'll get a thing for us. So this is for the divine, divine feminines and divine masculines. And this is just an overall for them for right now. Let's see. For right now. Not this flipped up. Four of Pentacles. Mm, holding on to some stuff. What you got holding on to? All right, let's see. Oh, gratitude. Well, that's interesting. I'm hearing be grateful for what you have. That you do have things that you value, that you want to, that you hold dear. Okay? And sometimes it's ideas like you know concepts like you know things that we put value on it could be stuff it could be stuff within our house um i'm saying that because i watched a movie and it, it was about like somebody who valued uh it was a movie that i watched and, and she was actually hoarding stuff and they tried to go in and help her. And she was like, no, well, I, you know, I really appreciate the people and they gave that to me. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it. And even though it was for everybody looking at it, it was useless for her. It had sentimental value. So whatever has value, if it, there's a sentimental value to it, it's important to you. And sometimes we want to hold on to those kinds of things and just be grateful for it. And if you're in that space right now where you're holding on to something because it has a sentimental value to it, be grateful for it. Give thanks to it. And you can either make a decision to continue holding on to it, which is fine, or you can make a decision and say, I am releasing it, which is also fine. And the whole thing of detachment for the feminines, I'm feeling that the feminines are being guided to possibly detach from things like that. Whereas the masculines, I feel like maybe are being guided to just kind of hold on to it. Like hold on that there's hope kind of like don't let go of hope I don't know why but I feel like that that's I don't know like it's like like you have this belief that you don't want to let go of or maybe you are asked to detach you know what I'm gonna get a tree to tell us what to do here what is this what is What should the masculine and feminine do with this type of energy? Stuck. Look at that. That's interesting. It's keeping you stuck. And maybe this week, that's just what's going to happen. Maybe this is what's going to play out this week. Because we are in Mercury retrograde. And that's okay. Because maybe it's, it's clearing a path. Yep, integration. Exactly. I was just going to say that. It's clearing a path. It's allowing it to be so this way you can absorb it all and integrate it within yourself. So that when you're ready to be able to let go of it, you will. And then the next thing will come in. And then you'll be able to be grateful for that. So whatever you need to hold on to for right now, masculines and feminines, whatever energy, idea, concept, feeling, um, physical thing, 
you know, relationship, uh, job, uh, finances, I don't know, whatever it is, concept, whatever you're holding on to, just keep thanking it for being there. And it's okay if you're stuck. It's okay, especially now during Mercury retrograde, because it's really, you're not really stuck. You're just holding on to it and integrating it. And that, that's the difference. You get to, you get to decide when you're going to let it go. It may even be about this connection, the way you view the connection. It might be the connection altogether. You may be, you know, holding on to this connection so bad because you're afraid of letting it go or you don't. Let me rephrase that. You don't know what else is out there and that's fine. Just allow yourself to be there. Wow. I really like that. So with gratitude, I thank you for watching. I hope this resonated with you. Please like, share, subscribe to my page. Um, follow me on TikTok and I will post some cards for you guys um, that I found that I got from this weekly reading. So like, you know, like some things where you're mirroring each other. So definitely I'm seeing this Nine of Swords thing going on with the feminines and masculines so i'll probably put something like that and we'll just go from there all right everybody have a fantastic week <laughs> oh god good luck with the mercury retrograde and yeah so check me out on tiktok guys all right thank you so much take care be blessed Bye bye